Defense might have a getting back into this game. Barcelo drive, float, miss on the runner. That was a good look for him, too. That should have gone for Alex. LMU down 22. 30 seconds into half, number two. Cougars' large lead was 26. LMU scored the final four of the first half and the first three of the second half. Ivan Alipiev, a three-pointer. And it's a 19-point game. 7-0 run for LMU spanning halftime. BYU misses the runner two, and then Alipiev scores the three the other way. Just want to keep LMU at bay. They go low to Harms. Harms beneath the basket will bank and score with Markison backing off a little bit. Markison playing with three fouls. Got to keep going inside, and Matt Harms continues to lead BYU in scoring 14 points, eight from the field, six from the stripe. BYU by 21, 49 to 28, 18.50 to play here in L.A. Kelly Leo Pepe hands off Alipiev. Alipiev, guarded by the smaller Barcelo, gives left wing Jalen Anderson. Anderson runs it around the arc to the right side, jumps an 18-footer and scores it. Jalen Anderson has nine. LMU scoring smartly to end the se- first half and start the second half. 49-30. Cougar lead 19. Gideon George hampered with foul trouble in the first half. Starts the second. Straight away Harms straddling the three-point line. Gives to George. George, Barcelo, cycled Averett right corner. Drives on Scott. Gets around him. And misses the shot on the scoop beneath the basket. LMU down 19 and with the ball. Anderson, three-point range right, holds it high, sends it low to Marcuson, jump hook off the window, no. Look good, rebounded by Barcelo, takes it off the iron. Cougars up 19, 49-30. The trailer Barcelo starts on Leo Pepe, scoop and score! <laughs> kind of looked back and then drove it hard and scoops around Leo Pepe for two. Alex Barcelo with eight points on the day. Little st- stutter step and then he had the bigger guy on him, able to use his quickness to get around Leo Pepe. Scott posting up, hands off to Marcuson. Short jumper, just too short. Missed it. Rebound George. BYU by 21, 51 to 30. Gideon terminates right side. Gives to Harms also on the right wing. Straight away to Barcelo. Step back, won't take that three. Guarded by Scott. So Eli Scott three. has the mark on Barcelo right now. That three's there for Alex with Scott on him if he wants it. Ten second shot clock. An over the shoulder pass to Harms. Harms low to Loner with a four-second shot clock. Down to three. A.B. will drive with two with one scoop and miss. And rebound LMU. BYU by 21, 51 to 30. A late-in-the-clock situation for BYU. It goes begging. Marcuson, Leo Pepe. Cuts low and scores off the window. Kelly Leo Pepe has seven. And a mismatch defensively in transition. Alex got uh, stuck on Leo Pepe, and the back door was nice. Cougars had a game-high lead of 26. It's down to 19. Barcelo, 20-footer. Yes, Alex Barcelo. For him, that's a good shot. That's 10 for A.B., fourth Coogan double figures. The shot's there for him. They're going underneath screens for BYU on that on that pick and roll, so Alex can just step back like he did there and hit it. A 52% field goal shooter. Barcelo knocks it down. He's got 10. Le- Alipiev misses the 20-footer the other way. Rebound loner for Caleb. That's rebound number six to pace BYU. George down floor. To Barcelo straightaway harms the high low to Loner. Loner collects, goes up with it, and scores over Leo Pepe. Caleb Loner with his first points in the second half, 12 points on the day. BYU by 23, 55 to 32, four nothing spurt for the Cougs. His his post move repertoire is expanding dramatically. Beautiful left hand jump hook, and we got some jousting down low between Loner and Leo Pepe. And timeout on the floor. 15:55 to go. They're going to get Loner for it. So Caleb picks up his second. BYU has its first of the second half. Timeout on the floor. Four minutes and five seconds gone in half number two. BYU by 23, 55, 32. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU with a 22-point lead at halftime. It's now 23 early in the second half. Cougs 55 and LMU 32. Our score, Greg Grubel and Mark Durant with you here at Gersten Pavilion in Los Angeles, California. BYU basketball brought to you by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody, from burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality, and a lot of it. In Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, now open in Harriman as we come back in. It is LMU on the end line. Jalen Anderson will trigger. It looked better. Obviously, you get your your best players back, and they're going to 
perform better offensively, but BYU matching them so far. Leo Pepe, Jalen Anderson. The freshman guard, Anderson, on the arc right side. Runs it around the arc left, gives there to Kelly Leo Pepe. He beats Loner to the baseline. Richard Harvard comes on the double, backs off the double. Jumper by Leo mm. Pepe. Short one is missed, and Gideon George had the rebound, and he was bumped by Leo Pepe. And four. so for Leo Pepe, that's going to be four. Great rebound, by the way. Gideon came flying out of nowhere. I think Leo Pepe was surprised that someone was up that high. He bumped into him. Gideon's well rested. Didn't yeah. play a lot at Pacific in foul trouble and didn't play much in the first half with three fouls. So see if they can get a lot out of Gideon here. They got some explosiveness on the rebound here in the second half from George. Loner, left wing Barcelo. Barcelo to the left junction, terminates, hands high to Harward. The underhand scoop there to Averitt, straight away top of the key. Averitt, oh, what oh. a fine to low to Harward. Harward banks and scores. What an assist from Brad Brandon Averitt. Whistles it through two Lions right to Big Rich who finishes off the window. That's tremendous. You and I had the angle. There was not a lot of room for that <laughs> ball to get through there. So Harward scores to make it a 25-point lead, 57-32. to 32. One off the game-high cushion. Jumper base left. Goodbye, Ivan Alipiev. Alipiev's got eight, averaging 5.8 per game, 57-34 now. BYU in front, under 15 to go. George sends it to Big Rich, mid-alley left. Out to Averitt, top of the key. Averitt. Back down to Rich. Well, Rich. Isolation for Rich. To the middle. Backs Markison down low. Squeezes it up and misses it at the rim. And then he fouls, uh, fouls Leo Pepe. So Big Rich is trying to get it done down low. Missed the shot and then committed the foul. That's three on Harvard. Two on BYU here at half number two. LMU basketball. Nell will check in for BA. Brandon Averett leaving on 11 points. All scored in the first half. He has four assists to lead BYU. So 11 assists so far on the weekend for Brandon Averett. And it's 11 assists to two turnovers for B.A. That's pretty good, man. That is real. Because he's had some trouble with turnovers this year, but not lately. Alipia runs Nell to the right arc. And Gideon George called for his fourth, <laughs> dealing with Scott. He tried to get the whistle on Scott, but ref wasn't having it. So just not Gideon's weekend. He's had a tough time staying on the floor at Pacific and at LMU. He's had a tough guard, at least tonight, with Scott. And referees have not been kind. He's been very physical, though, and had done a good job of kind of taking Scott out of what he wants to do. BYU by 23. Cougars almost picked off the inbounds. 57-34, the Cougar lead. Three fouls for BYU to LMU's one here in the second half. So the foul picture brightening for Coach Stan Johnson after halftime. It was brutal in the first half. Jalen Anderson. Runs it straight away, looking down the barrel on A.B. Sends it arc left to Alipiev. Alipiev pirouettes away from pressure. Right wing, Anderson low to Markison for the hammer home. Matias Markison has his first field goal, and it comes on a slam dunk to make it a 21-point game. 57-36, BYU's game-high lead had been 26 in the first half. Marcelo to the jump to the free-throw line. Jumper good, Alex Barcelo. Stockton-esque, dare I say, on that pull-up. Yeah, that's become his money play, that... Coming off the high screen, pulling up from 15, knocks it down. 12 for A.B. BYU by 23. Markison low around Harms. Oh, missed block. it on the reverse and might give Harms credit for the block, if not the alter. Uh -oh. Loner, Loner driving, missed the dunk. <laughs> it rebounds to Barcelo. Barcelo kicking the corner to Harding. That was cleared for takeoff. Uh -oh. Ball behind his head and just missed the dunk and rebounded out. Cougars keep possession with a 12-second shot clock. Barcelo three-point land left. A.B. will drive it, float it, and score it. Do we count it? I think I we think do. We count it, and then I think it's on Dorch. Uh, so Parker Dorch is going to call for a foul away from play as Alex Barcelo takes over, floats it, and scores <laughs> it. So it's sixty-one to thirty-six, a twenty-five point lead. Arms and where set, will the where will the foul be called? Arms set the screen, and it got tangled up with the guy he was screening as Alex went by. They're going to take a look at this, but uh, so we'll take a timeout while they sort it out. But BYU for the time being by twenty-five. 61-36 to 36 as Barcelo scores again to give him 14 points on the day. We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. All right, so during that timeout, they reviewed and, oh, no. Right as we come back in, they're going to wave the players to the sideline again. And what will they check now? During the timeout, they called the basket off from Alex Barcelo. So the floater by A.B., a beautiful shot, is waved off. The foul still goes to Dorch on the floor to LMU. So team foul number two, BYU possession now with a 23-point lead, 
59-36. It had been 61-36 on the Barcelo make. They wave it off, and now we're back in. Barcelo in the left corner to the free throw line. Hands to Harms outside the left elbow. Holds it away from his body. Turns to face on Marcuson. Bounces twice, three times, four times, five. Six dribbles to the middle. Now to the base, off the window. Yes, and the foul! Patience pays Matt. off for Matt Harms. Matt Harms is having himself a ball game this afternoon. You know, he got schooled a little bit against Gonzaga a while ago, and, man, he is really like, taking that to heart and played hard. And He, he just moved Marcus. And you don't, it's not easy to move Marcus. He moved him there, strong move, good spin to the left hand. And oh, the free throw just, missed by Harms. Rare miss. He had made, had made 12 in a row. And 19 of his last 20 before that missed short there. A jump in steal by Caleb Lohner. Lohner taking it to Scott and is blocked. Oh, no. And then Caleb hits the stanchion with the back of his head. As Scott's called for the foul, blocking Caleb Lohner on the dunk attempt. Oh, man, that's scary. But what an athletic play by Scott as Lohner went for the dunk again. Looked like a good block up top, but then came through with the arms, which made it very dangerous because both players were so high up in the air. Yeah, and, I, and after what happened in the stanchion here last year with Dalton Nixon breaking an ankle on a stanchion collision, I just I mean, hope Caleb's okay, and he makes the first of two free throws on the foul by Scott, so he appears to be okay, but hit the padded stanchion with the back of his head and neck as he went for the dunk and was hammered by Scott, who got credit for the block and the foul there, and free throw by Loner's miss, so... One for two on the trip for Caleb there. 13 points on the day for Lohner. He's four of seven at the line. Three-pointer Dar- Dorch is no good. Rebound Connor Harding. Uh-oh, Trevin Nell hit in the face, and he goes down. He Oof. took an elbow. It's a rough minute here for BYU as Lohner collides with the stanchion, and now Nell is down on the ground. 12.45 to go. BYU by 26. Again, equals the game-high cushion. 62-36 is our score, right? So they led 47-21 plus 26, and now 62-36 plus 26. This is your game high lead. Trevin Nell down, leaning on his elbows, bending at the waist, head on the ground. Trainer Rob Ramos out to look at Trev. Yeah, and I didn't quite see it. It looked like he got caught up with Eli Scott. I think he took an elbow from Scott to the face. Trevin playing so well of late, five points on the day. Now look at for this Trev. now to see if... That's a flagrant foul on Scott. I didn't, it's hard to quite tell the contact, but Trevin was down a long time and is in a lot of pain. He's now up to his feet, and you just hope this won't end up with him in the protocol. Now the Cougs, all things considered, despite some crushing injuries of the long-term variety to Gavin Baxter and Wyatt Lowell, they haven't really had the kinds of injuries that are keeping guys out for one, two, three games at a time. injuries, the two pretty important players. The day-to-day stuff with, with the main guys they count on, they've been pretty solid. Most starters have been able to answer the bell every day for BYU. If anything, they've gotten healthier with uh, Harms now not wearing the knee brace and looks as spry as he ever has. Had some knee issues before. Now we'll go back to the locker room to get looked at. We hope he's okay. Barcelo, front court right side. Johnson, harm straight away. Fakes a pass to the cutter Harding. Barcelo, right corner, Johnson. Now to Connor on the wing right side. Connor to the top of the key, guarded by Scott. Has Harms on the arc left. The lob low to Caleb collects bank scores. The assist to Matt Harms. The high low to perfection. Harms to Loner, and Loner converts at the window. That's 15 for Caleb, coming off a 19-point day at Pacific. He always got much better at that play. That was a disaster early in the season now. They're finding the right sweet spot for that high-low. BYU by a game-high 28 now, 64-36. to Post up by Eli Scott, stripped by Harms. Loner comes away with it. BYU running a four-on-two. Johnson, cross-court left corner. A.B. won't take that three. Now the numbers catch up with LMU. Marcuson guarding Loner. He's got four fouls, does Marcuson. Marcuson, a head fake by Caleb, a pass right baseline to Harms with a 12-second shot clock. Now Harms on the post up on Scott. Eli shoving out Matt Harms, and Harms will repost him, take him to the middle. Jump hook is good with the left hand over the right shoulder by Matt Harms. He got the last laugh on Scott, who was trying to really push him in the back to keep him from getting good position. 18 points for Matt Harms. 
Timeout on the floor to Stan Johnson. We're taking it. 11.32 to go here in L.A. BYU by 30 for the first time today. 66-36 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Pacific playing much better at Portland than they did the other night against BYU. Seven minutes to go in the first half. The Tigers leading the Pilots 30 to 13. Back to LA and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Shep, thank you. BYU by 30 right now, 66 to 36. Matt Harms, 18 points, six of seven from the field, six of seven from the line, four blocks. Three assists, a couple of rebounds, a plus-minus of plus 28. The only higher number, Caleb Lohner at a plus 35 today on 15 points for Caleb to go with a team-high six rebounds. The big man for BYU just dominated. Almost a steal from Harding out, out uh, on the wing, knocked out of bounds. 34 to 12 points in the paint. And I know we just came back, but we have to take another timeout. Good. I love, my, my voice needs a rest after just gabbing on there for so long. The timeout we just had was the coach called bonus timeout in the second half. This is the under 12-minute media timeout. We're in the media. We're taking timeout. 11.26 to go in the game. BYU by 30. 66-36 back after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Basketball brought to you by Edge. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you'll sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or online, EdgeD2D.com. LMU Basketball back in, down 30. Cougs up 66-36. Jalen Anderson, wing right. Post right, Scott. A turn to face, a skip pass left corner to Anderson. Beats Averett to the rim. Leans back and misses, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. Now be on Harward again. Harward and Gideon have had a tough night staying out of foul trouble. Four on George, four on Harward, four on Marcuson, four on Leo Pepe. Someone's going to foul out here today. 11-12 <laughs> to go. Free throws for Jalen Anderson. Hasn't shot a free throw. Makes there. He's a 79% free throw shooter. And now 10 for 11 from the line in conference play. Jalen Anderson. They're playing with one really only true guard with injuries. The Joe Quintana absence is substantial for yeah. LMU. He's the leading three-point taker and maker. Two for two for Anderson. He's got 11. First line to double figures. He beat Eli Scott there. Scott sitting at eight. That's been a big story. He's about 10 points below his average at this point with 10 minutes to go. Harding, loner straight away. The high load of harms is a turnover. Too heavy. So only the fourth turnover of the game and the first of the second half. So BYU went almost 10 minutes without giving the ball away here in half number two. And that's a touch thing. And Caleb will get better on that pass as, as time goes by. I was just bragging about that pass. I just think Matt was off his skis a little bit, unable to extend to get that pass. So first lay in good by Scott at the other end. So a quick score, and Scott gets the double figures now with 10. 66-40, to 40, four in a row for LMU. BYU by 26. Averett, step back three Looks in the good. right corner. Got it on the it right is. wing. Brandon Averett knocks down the three. That's a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for Brandon Averett. 14 points on the day, including that three-pointer. His second of the game, his first points of the second half. BYU up 29, 69-40. to 40. Smooth-looking shot from big shot Brandon. I like watching Loner and Scott go at it. Two Leo, big, strong bodies. Leo Pepe, top of the key, left wing to Scott. Scott posts up Loner. The strip by Caleb. The reach around, slap away. Harms down floor, Caleb. Caleb on the wing right side. Transition triple. Yes! <laughs> Caleb Lohner at one end and then the other. Knocks down the three. BYU Listen. by 32 for the first time today. Another <laughs> Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. Second three for Caleb. 18 points on the day. Well, Pepe misses. Rebound Johnson. Yeah. The rule number one is if you steal it, you deal it. So Caleb did. Started the Cougs the other way with the slap around steal. Harms collects beneath the basket. Left corner to Loner. Angle left to Johnson. 15 second shot clock. 9.30 game clock. The lob to Harding hit the backboard from Johnson. Turnover BYU. It'll be, actually, that might be just a turnover. I think it was a pass to Harding that hit the backboard. Go as turnover number five. So two turnovers in a minute after none in the first nine plus minutes here for BYU. Alipiev for three. Got it. Alipiev, three threes, 11 points. 72-43, BYU by 29. The game high lead had been 32, but four in a row. 
for LMU. BYU in front court. Brandon Averitt, 8.50 to go. Averitt straight away, still on the dribble. Takes a 20-footer that's off the back iron. Rebounded by Harms. Harms tries to go back up with it. Keeps the pivot foot down. Squeezes it up oh. and dunks it. What do they say? What? Oh. oh, come on. Three seconds? That's crazy call. He got the rebound. Mark Pope can't believe that. He got the offensive rebound and went up for the dunk after <laughs> clearing away body after body. And they call three seconds? I, I, he, I think he's saying, I, I, my bad to Coach Pope. Because I, I maybe didn't realize that he got the rebound. I, there's just no way. What a great play, aside from that, to get that rebound and then go up amongst the traffic and throw it down. Nice play from Harms. Crazy, though. 8.30 to go. 72-43, BYU by 29. It would have been Harms' 20th point on the dunk. Floater by Anderson. Back iron, rebound. Johnson slaps it to Barcelo. A.B. down floor, Averitt. Averitt front court, right side. Between the legs, step back to the arc straight away. A.B. top of the key, three. Got it! A.B. for three! Big smile from A.B. with the mouth guard. His first three in this game. He's got 15 on the day. BYU by 32 once again. Game high lead equaled 75-43. to 43. And BYU's putting the hammer down late in the season on the road. Steele Johnson, they call foul on Spencer Johnson going on the foul of, of the uh, steal for Olipiev. We'll take a break. 7.55 to go. This will be the under eight-minute timeout. Cougs by 32, 75-43 on the new skin, BYU Sports, Me- uh, Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougar basketball brought to you by BYU alumni. Cougar fans, BYU alumni wants to remind you to wear the Y on Fridays. BYU alumni connected for good. Well, LMU's rarely out-rebounded. They've only been outboarded twice this year. They lost both those games. They're about to go 0-3 when being out-rebounded, perhaps. BYU's up 26 to 20 on the glass and up 75 to 43 on the scoreboard. 32 point lead. Look at BYU's last three WCC road games. One by 45, one by 28, leading by 32. Alipiev, three. Again. Wow. Ivan Alipiev, 14 points, including four threes. It's a 29 point lead, 75 46. Probably ought to guard him. He's the one guy that can shoot that. Averitt, right corner, right wing, Harms. Harms gives it up to Harding straight away. To give to Barcelo there on the wing left side, stripe extended. Harms on the bump. Angle right to Johnson. Johnson hedged toward the sideline. Releases to Harding with a seven-second shot clock. Averitt quickly to 10 feet. Hands off to Harms. Harms traveled turnover. Yeah. Number seven for BYU. Good pass. Harms just bobbled it. Couldn't get, get a cold of it as he traveled. 7-17 to play here in L.A. BYU's lead down to 29, 75-46. Harms 18, Loner 18, 15, Barcelo 14, Averett, the Cougs in double figures. Leo Pepe on the post up. Jump hook off the window, good. Kelly Leo Pepe with nine. A small lineup for BYU is Connor, Connor trying to guard Leo Pepe. 75-48. Harding top of the arc will hand off to Barcelo, who comes to meet straight away. Harms straddles the three-point line, conveys it to Johnson, driving reverse lane. Good Spencer Johnson. He's crafty with that. We've seen that a few times this year. Spencer scores it. BYU by 29, 77 to 48. And for Johnson, that's five on the day. Alipiev closed out on there by Spencer. Leo Pepe takes the post feed, turns to face, now backs down on Harms. The running hook is good. A junior sky hook there from old Kelly Leo Pepe just gave the too small signal to Matt Harms. <laughs> 77-50, uh, BYU uh, by 27. Maybe you got to get a little closer in the game before you start, start talking smack. Harding drives to the post, double team, hands off to Harms, takes a bump, stumbles to the paint, takes a foul. He'll get two free throws with 6.09 to play. He literally did the too small. <laughs> and the guy with five block shots he gives the too small to <laughs> and has 20 points. I mean, an unbelievable night. But I, I like Lip. I, he, he, I just like watching him. He's a unique guy and fun to watch. We were talking pregame. I mean, you would think that in high school he was a defensive end or a tight end. 6'6", 248, the sophomore from Melbourne, Australia. I guess I should amend that. He probably wasn't playing a lot of American football in Australia. (laughs) But he would make an ideal defensive end or tight end on this side of the hemisphere. 
Yeah, but it's, it's impressive. I mean, Leo Pepe did get that one. We'll give him that one. But uh, this dominance, you, you, you looking coming into this game with Marcuson and Leo Pepe and Scott, you got, man, BYU's going to have their hands full inside. But the BYU big man and Loner and Harms, they, they've been just terrific in this game. Look at Biggs who can make free throws. Leo Pepe's 24 of 27 from the free throw line in league. And Matt Harms had now has just made his 20, 20th of his last 22 free throws. Seven for eight today. Gets another here. And misses that one. So one for two on that trip. 19 points on the day for Matt Harms. BYU by 28, 78 to 50. Six even to go here in L.A. So Matt had made 12 in a row and then goes one for his next three from the free throw line. Leo Pepe gets past Loner. Nice recovery by Caleb on a driving kick by Leo Pepe to Anderson. The repost to Leo Pepe. Spins past Loner. Runs into Harms. Foul on Matt. Free throws for Kelly Leo Pepe. I just mentioned Leo Pepe's free throw prowess as Harms picks up the foul. And for Matt, his personal foul, I believe just number one on the day for Harms. As Leo Pepe will shoot two. He's two for two from the line here today. And again, 24 of 27 at the line in league, but that's a miss for Leo Pepe. 12 point, 11 points for Leo Pepe. Loner 18, 6 of 10. Harms 19, 6 of 7. That's even with a Loner missed dunk or two. It's the second free throw. Good. I, Loner's going to have the most impressive missed dunk reel of all time. <laughs> Brandon Averett. Arc right. Loner arc left. Give there to Connor Harding. Harding's pass is picked off. Turnover number eight. And then the Cougars foul as Caleb tried to get the, or Connor tried to get the ball back. So 78-51. A little ragged here late for BYU. Lead by 27. 5.34 to go. And on team foul number seven, one and one for Cody Pugh. Just a 50% free throw shooter on the year. LMU figured out their foul trouble, but too little too late. They were just decimated in the first half as Pew misses the free throw and the rebound to Spencer Johnson off the front end miss. So BYU's up 27, 78-51. The Cougar large lead had been 32 in this game. Harding, right wing loner. Handoff Johnson. Spencer Johnson for three right side. Another Mountain America Credit Union three. Spencer's second triple on this day. BYU by 30 once again, 81-51. Nice, quiet, nice night for or afternoon for Spencer. Cody Pugh. Season opening, blocked by Harms. That's five for Matt. A new BYU career single game high is Alipiev. Scores the baseline jumper, 16 for Ivan Alipiev. He's been the real bright spot for LMU today in a dark day on the score tally. It's 81 to 53. Cougs up 28. More consistent scoring by LMU in the second half. Caleb Lohner posts up on Dorch. Nice find in the right corner to Brandon Averett. Short on the three, rebound to Cody Pugh. BYU by 28, 81 to 53. The Cougs have reached 80 points. That means you can text the words sub above to 888-111 for your chance to win a free regular sub from Jersey Mike's. Leo Pepe sees a double, passes out of it to Dorch. Three-point land left, and then knocks it out of bounds with 4.20 to go. Spencer Johnson caused it. Once again, text the words sub above to 888-111 for your chance to win a free regular sub from Jersey Mike's. Every time BYU gets to 80 points, you get that chance, and BYU's at 81. 81-53 is our score. BYU basketball with 4.20 to play. BYU will go to 17-5, 8-3 in the WCC, and finish their true away slate at 7-2. Well done. Marcelo terminates at 20. Right side, Loner. Who will hand off there to Nell. Nell curls to the top. To Barcelo. Drive. Over the shoulder pass to Big Rich. Nell for three. That's good! Trevin Nell knocks down BYU's ninth three of the game. BYU by 31. 84-53 to 53 for Trevin Nell. His second three. Eight points on the day. So played a whole lot, but his hot hand still is in, in, in effect. And good to note that after taking that knock in the head earlier, yeah. he's back in and knocking him down. 3.35 to play. Post up by Eli Scott. Sees a double team and a foul on BYU. One and one for LMU after this. We'll take a bonus timeout here to our affiliate stations. The under four media timeout is an affiliate bonus timeout. We're back in 90 seconds. BYU 84, LMU 53. 3.36 to go on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Elsewhere in conference, they've reached halftime in Portland, Pacific leading the Pilots 47-30 to at the break. Also at the break, although second half about to tip at the Marriott Center, BYU women's basketball leading the Portland Pilots as they get ready to start the second half by 2, 33-31. Back to Gersten Pavilion and Greg Rubel. Shep thank, Shep, thank you. If you're looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's, try Smith's Click List. Order online, pick up curbside by the store, visit smithsfoodanddrug.com for details. LMU leads the WCC in conference play in scoring defense. 65 points a game allowed. Now, granted, they've not played the best teams yet. Gonzaga, BYU, Pepperdine, but still yeah, 65 points a, a game. They've allowed 84 today. BYU, uh, LMU is the leading team offensive and defensive rebounding, and the Cougars are plus four on the glass here today as they lead by 31 late, 84 yeah. to 53. BYU, by the way, hit the magic number. They'll go to 11 and 0 when scoring 80 or more, and the Lions will go to 1 and 12 when allowing 70 or more. They like the lower scoring games as Eli Scott makes the free throw. He has 1 and 1 as we come back in from timeout. Only one field goal in the second half. Ten points on the day, now 11 for Eli Scott, who's made five consecutive free throws. But he's well south of his per-game scoring average. Misses the second. Loner then yanks it away from Dortch, and he and Dortch get tied up. And what will the call be? It's going to be a jump ball, so that'll go to LMU. So off the Scott no. free throw miss. My bad. Oh, they call Loner, so it's another one and one. So Scott makes what and then the misses, world? and then in the fight for the rebound, they call Caleb Lohner for a foul as he and Dorch got tied up, and Dorch will now shoot one and one. A couple of brain scratchers here that's, for that's these. Borderline call. bogus there. 30 point lead. Dorch yeah. makes the free throw. A lot easier to tolerate when refs make bad calls when you're up 30, I guess, but uh, nice free throw from Dorch. You got the, I mean, credit him for getting the rebound off the offensive rebound, but Caleb tied him up. Two for two for Dorch, his first points of the day. BYU by 28. It was a three-point possession from the free-throw line there for LMU. Averitt, dribble handoff to the left wing to Barcelo. His guard fell down, quickly low to Harwood. Touch pass in the corner, Nell. Nell cut off on the baseline drive. Pulls it out to the wing right side, straight away to AB. Left side to BA. Averitt to the free-throw line. No look, whip right to Nell. Nell underhand scoop to Howard. Banks and misses beneath the basket. Ritz is struggling a little bit. He's a guy that's lost a little confidence uh, when he gets touches in the post. 3-10 to go. BYU by 28. Scott, left wing, Dorch. Dorch to the free-throw line. Crossover drive left. Bank no. Rebound, Leo Pepe. Back up, score, foul, three-point play chance. Well, Leo Pepe's kind of asserting himself. Much better second half. He's Still got the fouls, but doesn't, you know, he's playing with abandon and showing why he's a good player, but was absent in the first half with those fouls. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah for over 30 years. Harvard will sit. Colby Lee is in for the duration. 2.58 oh. to go. BYU's lead down to 26. I mean, it, it's down to 26. You don't want to take your feet off the gas. You don't know what metrics go into the formula that's going to be used to seed the tournament, so you just have to keep playing through. Trying to get as big a win as you can. Game high lead had been 32. It's down to 25. 84-59. Two for two for Leo Pepe at the line. Cougs front court with Nell. Averitt runs Dorch into the Colby Lee screen. Offensive foul turnover for BYU. Kind of limping away, but, man, they were in a full stride for most of this game. It was a beautiful performance, but it's it's gotten a little sloppy at the end for the Cougars. LMU basketball, 2.40 to go. 84-59, the BYU lead 25. Scott right to the rim, up and in. Little spin at the base and takes it to the 10 for two. Cougar lead slipping late. Averett. Elbow jumper, no. Great offensive rebound for Caleb Lohner. Stepped out of bounds, turnover. Well, no danger of losing this game, but you, like I said, you want as big a margin of victory for the world to see and to factor into any metrics that might consider that. Nine points have come off the game-high 32-point cushion, 84-61. to Alipiev wiping off Nell. Drive, bank, score, another three-point play chance. So LMU going on a run that has cut off 10-plus points of BYU's lead here late. 
84 to 63, and the Lions can make it a 20-point game. Again, the outcome not in any dispute, but the metrics are slipping late a little bit for BYU. 2.14 to go, and the only three-point plays LMU's had have come here in the last couple minutes of play. Alipiev had a great day. 18 points, 15 after halftime. Chance to go to 19 from the free-throw line. And misses. Offensive rebound, Dortz. Misses. Rebound. Leo Pepe had it. Ball on the floor. Kobe Lee fought for it. Leo Pepe comes away with it. And timeout to LMU. 2.05 to go. So LMU will keep possession. Cutting into BYU's lead, which is far too large to be surmounted yet. The Cougars. And Mark Pope's not happy right now. Not happy with officials. Not happy with some of his guys. Up 21, but uh, leaving a little to be desired here uh, late in the game. The lead was 32. It's been cut by 11 by the home team LMU here. 84-63 to will stay right here with 2.05 to play. And that's offensive rebounds. LMU going hard. Credit them for hanging in there and just still grinding late. Yeah, they are going hard. I think Mark, Mark Pope's saying they're going a little too hard. You decided to just put your whistles away in this game. And, and, and I don't want my guys getting hurt with how, how LMU's playing. But Mark's, yeah. Mark's incensed right now. LMU had 12 fouls in the first half, five in the second. And the, and the official's cautioning Mark against the technical right now. He's fired up. 84-63, to 63, BYU by 21. But the run is 10-0 for LMU right now. Too little too late, but you never want to give up a double-digit run against. Scott off the inbounds. Two minutes to go in a 15-second shot clock. Scott will drive it low into Lee. Bank and score another three-point play chance. Can you? Three of them this is in the up. last 90 seconds for LMU. This possession's gone on for 90 seconds. They may, they may actually foul here at BYU. They've cut enough off. The harms will come back in, and wow. they may foul. 12 nothing run. Chance to go to 13-0. Harms is back in, and... Mark Pope has now been teed up. So this might end up looking like this might be a 15-point game when all is said and done. There will be technical free throws coming, plus the regular free throws for Scott. Things kind of melting down a bit on BYU in a game they led by 32. Again, the meltdown's relative. You're going to win by double digits, but it's not going to be the style points BYU had going in their favor with five minutes to go for sure. Alipia will take two technical free throws as Mark Pope's been teed up. Just stayed on the official a little too long. Not liking the way these last minutes have transpired. And Alipiev makes the first. He'll get another, and then Scott will get his free throws. One 20, free throw. 20 for Alipiev. 18, or rather 17 after halftime. 84 to 67, a 17 point game. It's a 14 nothing LMU run when this game was done. Scott now free throws. Makes. Wow. BYU hasn't had the ball on the offensive side of the floor in like two minutes. 84 to 68. 16 point game, and the Lions are pressing. They've got 16 points off a 32 point deficit. What a, weird, what a weird game late. 148 to go as Dorch fouls Barcelo. They should have fouled Loner. They had him, and then they let Barcelo get it. Team fouls six, not even free throws. LMU will shoot two the rest of the way. Man, this game's not going to feel like it. you thought it was going to. <laughs> I'm just going to erase the last couple of minutes and just enjoy how good they were for 15 minutes in that second half. Loner, left wing, Harding won't take it. 10-second shot clock, 84-68. to 68. Lee was 32, now it's 16, and Barcelo almost turned it over on the far sideline. Luckily, LMU touched last. A three-second shot clock with 90 seconds to go. BYU is going to win. But the way they got there was a little curious toward the end. Shows how important. Turnaround jumper by oh. Harms. Wow. We don't see a lot of that from Matt. Takes just the gonna... inbound with a three-second shot clock. It's the baseline jumper to make it an 18-point game, 86-68. to 68. I was going to just say how important Matt was on the floor, and then he hits that shot. Now another foul on Loner. Loner fouls Scott on his drive. And this game is just a slog to get to the finish here. Whistle after whistle against BYU. Free throw after free throw for LMU. And the rebound numbers almost even after BYU led that category most of the day handily. The Lions are about to take their 22nd and 23rd free throws to BYU's 20 on the day. George will check in for Loner. 
Caleb's day may be done. Matt Harms, by the way, at 21 points after making that baseline jumper turnaround a moment ago. 86-68, BYU by 18. Again, you're happy with any double-digit road win in league. But they were about to make this a laugher until some somewhat laughable decisions officiating-wise, a couple of them at least, helped uh, LMU to cut into what was like a massive margin. Scott missing the free throw. He'll get another. Most of that run came too with Matt seemingly out of the game for the rest of the game. And, and LMU's big men finally were able to get some shots in the paint. Second by Scott is good. And what do we have now? A uh, foul on LMU after the free throw is made or count, yeah, don't I count think, the free throw. I think they're finally going to get Dorch on a foul. So Dorch has his team's seventh. And we're going to come the other way for one and one. So the free throw good to make it 86 to 69. And then BYU gets one and one the other way, but George will be shooting them. And Gideon hasn't played a lot today. 11 minutes, no points. Four fouls to go with four rebounds. Gideon one and one on team foul number seven. BYU 86, LMU 69. Just kind of crawling to the finish here in and L.A. And the fact there's no fans makes these ga- types of games even weirder. It's just... Just hit a halt. Gideon does knock down the free throw, not playing much like you said, but a stroke looked good. So his first point of the day, the last starter to score is Gideon George. And two for two for Gideon. BYU by 19, 88 to 69. Just get out of here with the W and head home for a couple big ones. The leap he has. <laughs> Just yeah. racing to the rim. 22 points for Ivan Alipiev, three off a career high. And the Lions full court press with a 17-point deficit, 88-71, BYU leading it. Marcelo to front court. And BYU can go late in the clock. Doesn't really matter here. 45 seconds to go. Cougs up 88-71. You can never be unhappy with a road win in the league by 17 points or more. We'll see what it ends up being. 40 40 seconds remain as Marcelo drives the end line with a three-second shot clock down to two. Desperation turnaround three, hit the back rim. So nothing coming out of that possession. The Cougs almost get the deflection. Now they do and get the steal. The shot clock is off. Cougars can bounce it out. So LMU is not going to foul, and this game is over. So BYU will win it by a score of 88-71, to and the Cougars will go to 17-5 in the league, 8-3 in the WCC. LMU will fall to 11-7, 6-4 in league. Now it's home for San Francisco and St. Mary's. Final true away game of the year goes to BYU by 17 at LMU. 88-71 is your final. There's the horn. Postgame recap next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Final score here today in L.A., BYU 88 and LMU 71. Cougars win by 17 after leading by 32 a couple of times in the second half. Some weird stuff late. Let the Lions get back more or less into it, but not really. They shot 23 free throws to BYU's 22 as the foul disparity flipped entirely around in the second half. So many fouls against LMU in the first half and so many against BYU after halftime. Cougars end up shooting on the day 55% to LMU's 44. Cougars shoot 45 from the arc to LMU's 46. LMU 6 of 13, BYU 9 of 20. Free throw line, both teams shot a lot, shot them well. BYU 17 of 22, 73%, 77%, beg your pardon. And LMU 17 of 23, 74%. Rebounds ended up being dead even, 29-29. Some miscellaneous categories, points off of turnovers, BYU plus 10 there, 23 to 13, as the Lions turned it over 15 times to BYU's 10. Seven of BYU's 10 came in the second half. Second chance points, LMU big there, plus 11, 16 to 5. Bench points, BYU big, plus 14 at 18 to 4. Paint points, Cougars plus 10 at 36, 26. Five, ba- five fast break points on the day, all for BYU. Cougs had six block shots to LMU's one, and five of the six were from Matt Harms. A new single game high for him at BYU with five blocks. 16 assists for BYU on 31 makes, just nine assists on 24 makes for LMU. Harms led the way in scoring for BYU with 21. 18 for Caleb Lohner before fouling out. He had a team-high seven rebounds, did Caleb. 15 for Barcelo, 14 for Abert. So another big weekend for those two guys on the road. Both played well at Pacific and here today at LMU. Eight for Nell, eight for Johnson, twos for George and Harward getting you to 88. LMU gets 22 from Ivan Dolipiev on eight for nine shooting, four of four from three. 
Scott held somewhat below his average, a couple of points worth at 17, 15 for Leo Pepe, 11 for Anderson, and twos for Marcus and Pugh and Dorch. Quintana did not play. Sat another game out injured, and he's their best three-point taker and maker. They felt his absence today as Loyola Marymount shoots uh, scores 71 on this day. 88-71 is your final. Let's get now the uh, New Skin Data Discovery of the Day, brought to you by New Skin. Discover the best you. Mark, what do you discover in today's box score? I just continue. I thought it was Matt Harms' best game, 21 points, 7 of 8, and then Loner, 18, 6 for 10. And they're going against a team in LMU who has one of the best front courts in the in the conference with, with Marcuson and Scott and uh, – uh, Leo Pepe, uh, that, that's a really good inside game for LMU. And BYU dominated in the paint with those two guys. And Harms, was, in particular, was just terrific. Caleb continues to get better. When you have your big guys scoring like that and doing those kind of things with block shots and rebounds, you're not going to lose a lot of games. Nice job from BYU big men. Courtside conversations coming up after we bring you Cougar Post Game Live with Jason Shepard. We're back to L.A. soon. For those conversations, final score, 88-71, BYU over LMU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.